Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electric car. I really appreciate that. My name is David if you're new here. Now, there is a, a simple circuit that I want to show you and we'll use it as reference uh, for future videos. Okay? Now, I have three devices here. Now, I have a relay, I have a timer, and I have a contactor. Okay? Now, there are situations where you, you have a circuit and the, the circuit comprises these three devices, but the coils for the devices uh, take different voltages, okay? What do I mean? Now, in these three pieces, I have uh, a timer, which is AC, okay? And then I have these other two guys, which are DC, the coils are DC, okay? So, in that situation, well, you know, what do you do? How do you go by that? Okay. Now, one of the things you have to do, it's okay. It's okay to have, you know, a DC contactor, DC relay. Maybe you have a, a AC. You can mix them if that's what is at your disposal. Okay. Now, when you're building your, your circuit uh, and you have a DC device, then you're going to need a power supply or a transformer, okay? So you need a power supply, and this power supply will, will be embedded or will be incorporated in your, in your board, okay? In that panel that you're building, all right? Such that it can facilitate for the voltage that it's not there, okay? In this case, we don't have DC, so we need something to give us DC. You can either use a transformer or you use a power supply. Now, in this case, we have a power supply of 12 volts DC. That's what we are going to use. Okay? Now, let me show you uh, something a little quick. So, what is happening here is uh, we have here a timer which has a coil energized by AC, okay? And again, we have, and again, we have a relay, okay? Two relay, actually. And the coil is DC, okay? 12 volts. And now we have uh, two o two o yeah contactor, and this contactor the coil is DC, okay. Now in such a scenario, uh, things are not really uh, that uh, difficult, okay. So. What do you do in this case? Uh, you have you have a relay here. You have uh, you know a timer and a contactor. So this is what we are going to do in our simple whiteboard uh, circuit. So I always tell you, okay. So you have your timer here. All right? And in that timer, we have our contacts, okay? All right? And at the same time, we have And we have here, and still we have our contacts, and now finally we have And then right here, we have maybe uh, one contact, okay? All 
All right. Now, these are the three stuffs that we have here. Okay. We have a timer right here, which is SC. Okay. Our timer right here is SC. And then we have a relay, which is DC, total volts. And then we have a contactor, which is DC. Okay. But this is what we have. And we have to incorporate it in uh, our circuit. Now, the contactor is, is our main component that's going to run maybe our motor. Okay. And we have our relay. Uh, which will be, you know, supplying our contactor, and then we have a timer, which will be supplying our relay. Now, from, from your breaker, okay, from your breaker, you're dealing here with SC. Now you have, you have a breaker somewhere, okay, which will now uh, supply our coil okay and now this is neutral so this is a timer so what will happen is that now we are going to look for a DC source so we have a DC here okay which is here plus and minus so we have a DC here so what we need to do is to take uh, the positive and we feed it uh, our timer uh, 15 the 15th contact right here and now uh, since this contact is closed so remember this is 18 this is 16 this is 15 okay now this uh, could be 6 uh, this could be 5 and this could be 7. Alright? Now, from here, what we need is uh, this is our timer now. And this timer will energize the relay. Okay? So, from here, we'll, this is now DC. Okay? You see? This is DC. So, now from here, this will enter because it is positive here. It will enter, supply our relay, and now this one is our negative, okay? 12 volts DC, remember. Now, this is supplied. So what we are going to do is we are going to loop here, okay? Like this, and then we feed here, number 7. Okay, you... the common is you know common is six but now uh, it's just for the purpose of the board you would give six but just for the space of the board we'll give number seven which in turn when uh, the coil closes it closes here now right here number here our number six will now supply the contactor coil okay still now this here is positive okay 12 volts and we have here which uh, we gave here our negative 12 volts okay now the contact can now close okay so our timer energizes with the AC then it closes here we remember we fed it with the DC then from here our relay get energized and then it closes the contact seven through contact six contactor get energized okay so basically now let us run it practically uh, practically and we see the results okay now uh let's go now this is our power supply which is giving us uh 12 volts dc and like I said, this you can incorporate this in your panel. Yes, it can be a transformer, it can be a power supply. It depends on what you want with your design. Okay? All right. Now, first thing, 
this breaker and this is SC. So we need to supply our breaker with SC, okay? Now we have to supply this timer. Now this is SC, so it's, it's going to A1 of this timer here, okay? All right, now we, we need a neutral to supply the timer still. So you realize that we have only used SC on the timer, okay? Now, the timer is really done, okay? So, what we want to take care of is this guy and this guy, okay? So, what are we going to do is now we need this is our 12 volts DC from our power supply. Now, what we need is to give uh, number 15 of this timer. Number 15 of the timer has DC. Now we need to use number 18 right here of the timer to output after the, the delay here, okay? Now remember we are moving positive. You have to be very careful, okay? Now, A1, we have A1 right here. So, A1 of our uh, relay, we are giving it positive, okay? Now, because we want it the same supply to go to the contactor, so we are going to, to loop. We are going to use uh, this jumper. So we need to use number six, so I need to open it fully. All right, now we've used number six on the timer here, okay? So six will, is open to seven, so it will close when they really get energized, okay? Now, that means that uh, number seven will go to A1 of the contactor coil, okay? So we want number seven right here. Okay, now this wire here will now give it to A1 of this contactor. Okay, now I think we've progressed well. So what we're going to do is to do the neutrals, okay? Uh, already we are done with the neutral for a timer SC. Now we just need to connect the positive to the relay and the contactor, okay? Now this black wire is our positive. Remember we've only moved uh, around positive, so this is negative. And this negative, we'll put it here. Or oh, we can even loop it from here. So this is our A2. So we've looped it here so that it can also go to, to the relay. All right. Now, this is it, uh, the circuit that we I showed earlier, OK? So let us power it, and then we see what happens, OK? So I've done that. Now I just need to Now we have to grab our relay. We put it back. And uh, we have to grab the diode here. This diode helps not to short circuit the relay. Okay. Now let's see. So we are switching on this switch right here to supply SC to the timer. And then timer will close its normally open contact which will supply DC to this coil and this will supply DC to this coil and our main coil will, will, contact will energize. So our timer is on. Let's see. And relay closes and it supplies the contactor. Okay? Timer SC, DC for relay and contactor. That's it. 
Uh, hope you have understood that. Now, the whole point of this video is uh, we are going to, you know, to be doing these circuits and using different voltages at some stages, okay? So you must know how to move voltage uh, per voltage and then, you know, how to separate it, okay? And to be very careful while doing this. This is a very simple uh, task, but it's always needed somewhere, okay? So it's something good to practice it so that you can understand. Now, I appreciate you for being on Electrica. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. If you're new here, my name is David. Uh, as I said in the beginning of this video, that this is going to be a reference for some videos that are coming. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. I'm out.